previously on making the squad. <laughs> Goodness me, this could be a long day for all of us. But crunch and a mania. I've kind of spent the last couple weeks acting as though I'm not as good as I am, just so that I can avoid the big matchup. Amenya, this is your first loss. What do you, what do you reckon happened? If I say what I really want to say, they're going to kick me out of the arena. Should have and could have beat Will. Um, obviously, like he's a really good player. I just felt like I let him get back into the game a bit too much. Whoever picks the matchups or what matches they decide to put on. Yeah, I know. If I win, I know who I'm playing already. I know the other matchups I'm going to beat. Yeah, you know, definitely like all, th all three of them. All yeah, three of them. You don't have to share, obviously. Oh, I won't be. <laughs> I've requested the contestants meet me at a famous Berlin city market. For the six IRO challenge, they will literally need to voice how badly they want to win it. Your heads must be spinning like what we're doing today. So today's challenge is all about doing some cracking commentary. However, it's not gonna be on a football match. It's gonna be live on everyday situations. But I'm not gonna throw you man in a deep end. I bring a tutor. This tutor talks to hundreds, millions of people every week. Please make some noise for Phil from the Bundesliga. Yay! Hi guys, how's it going? Now, commentary. Everybody's a commentator, just like everybody's a football expert. But what you've got to do is you've got to not only talk about what you see and what's happening, you've got to talk about the stuff that's going on behind the game. You're gonna be judged on three things. Humor, duration, and use of voice. Humor, self-explanatory. Humor should be self-explanatory. Duration, you know, you've gotta keep going. You've gotta go through to the end of the game. And uh, the use of your voice. Sometimes it doesn't have to be loud. It can be, this is a very careful moment. You need to line it up, because when that ball comes over at the back post, you've gotta rise like a salmon, <laughs> swimming <laughs> home. For the, for the... Not everyone can do it. Before we get into it, let's see how a pro delivers it. It's the meat counter, and at the moment it's four on two. There's a lot of attention going into the deep freeze. It's a big decision to make at this time of the day. Looks like she's going for both. Yes, she's got both in her hand. That looks like they've made a sale there, and she's going to take an extra pork loin as well. The weight has been confirmed. Yes, there's the money. It's gone <laughs> over. The money is on the counter. You lot are going to be so terrible at this. <laughs> They've got 60 seconds each to keep a running commentary. As Basti was top of the leaderboard, he'll be the first one up. The mic has been passed, but will the contestants drop it? So there's a man. A man's going for the meat. Chicken, chicken, little chicken. <laughs> no, no, that's too much, too much. Get that back. Oh, is that actually good? The quality check, he didn't have it yet. Oh, he's getting another pack. It's not good enough for this man. It's a little bit of a neat freak, isn't he? He got the approval. Is he going to get the deal? All right, Basti, I've heard enough for that. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> That's pretty much the punishment for, get, for doing well in the exactly. last challenge. You get to go first. Uh, no inspiration. Breaking the ice is, is very difficult. What are you going to give him out of a five? Because English isn't your first language, I think use of voice. We have to give you uh, three. Duration, there's, there's a three there as well. Okay. And uh, as far as humour is concerned, there wasn't a huge amount of uh, laughs coming from your fellow contestants. <laughs> Next up, we have Crunch who was at the seafood counter. Let's go fishing. We don't know who is actually going for the fish. Let's go, my friend in front of me, let's call her Petra, you know? And then the one right next, let's call her Luisa. Luisa is waiting, you know, you can see how they're grabbing the bag. Probably making that choice. Do, do I deplete the Atlantic stocks or should it be a North Sea fish that I go for? Trying to see what fish she wants, I'm not sure if the kid will be happy with fish tonight because, well, at the end of the day, we don't like that when we're kids, do we? Ah, uh, that's enough from you, Santi. Give him a round of applause. That's hard. 
It's not, it's not as easy as it looks. I must admit, I wasn't holding my sides laughing. Yeah. Uh, duration, but he certainly stayed the distance. Phil, up next we have the commoner. Do your stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from around the world, here we are at a German market, a microchasm a petri dish of what's going on in the world. One at the back from the home team weighing up the fish. The away team is on the offensive. The home team is still playing with one at the back at the moment, gutting the fish, but the away team is inquiring further. They seem more and more comfortable. Home team now getting right into the defensive work, cutting away the top of the fish, getting the skin, peeling it back with expert precision, I must say. Ah, uh, that's enough from the commoner. Give him a round of applause. Well, I don't know much about commentary, Phil, but I thought that was extraordinary. What well, is your take Well, there it? was a lot of repetition in there. Yeah, there, there was. There was a lot of the home team this, the yeah. home team that. In terms of humour, yeah, it made me smile. I, I, that's definitely a two. Yeah, he's a harsh judge, isn't it? Yeah. Next up, it's Rosé. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are in Hermann Platz station in Berlin. And right on my, uh, on my right, I have a coffee shop. So we can see clearly that this man know his jobs. You can see we have a lot of choices. So uh, we can see we have two people here. They are going to make an order. He's very, very confident job, you know. With the milk, try to make some drawing. That's very impressive. And that's it for me. Back to you, Phil. Well, well there we will. go, Ted. Yeah, it's, you have to say, it's always difficult. The one thing I was missing there a little was the humour, though. Yeah, of course, but it's really not easy to be funny. In, in a language that's yeah. not yours. I'm, 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 using, I'm afraid that's another one. Go, use and, of voice? And for the use of voice, uh, yeah. a three is... Uh, a three, uh, and I'm going to give him a, a four one. because he's French. -ish. There you go. There we go, Will. Up next, we have Armenia, and I'm going to give you the difficult task to talk about absolutely anything that's going on around. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, he's wondering, his son really wants some cookies back home. And he's wondering, mm, do I pay for this? There's our dentist at home, maybe I'll leave it, you know what I'm saying? He's eyeing it up. He's giving him the eyes, he's like, mm, what's going on here? He's speaking different language, he's getting his stamps. That is fantastic. I'll tell you what, he must be a regular customer because he knows what he's doing. But the technique on the stamp, the technique, it's gorgeous. Have you ever seen Absolutely anything gorgeous. like it? It was fantastic. It's genuinely a work of art. I want to do, oh, bang! And there it is! It's enough for my menu. Well done, my guy. A, a, a small chuckle there to myself. Yeah. You kept going right to the end. The, the, the intensity was there. My brother Phil, see you on the Bundesliga good. soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> now for Ruski. Don't forget, this is a home game for you. This is a home game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruski. We are in the heart of Neukölln, which is Hermann Platz. A very cool place, a little bit stinky, but it's, we are fine. <laughs> and uh, I have no idea what to say. Do you guys understand German? Yeah, all right. Kannst du so tun, als ob ich dir einen Witz erzähle und du lachst? Äh, über was? Ich erzähle, ich, ich rede einfach und ihr fangt alle an zu lachen, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Hey, yeah. I probably won't even bother. Think you're not his face. All right. What do you think? What do you think about the whole situation? A great coup there to actually ask them to laugh as if you'd said something funny. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying, what you got to remember is some people do speak too much. Yeah. Humor. Okay, humor. Well, I mean, I laughed, so I've got to give him a two for that. Okay. The voice category was probably a two. The third category, again, a three. Yeah. And guess what? I've given him an extra point for humour, duration and use of voice. So he's got a total of ten points. Ooh, big result for the home side. So, before we get into how the boy is done, what did you just think of the day overall? Well, there's some promise there, of course there is. And um, one of the major things that I noticed about everything, there was a tendency of people not to commentate. Some of the guys were just basically doing interviews yeah. with people. What I thought was lacking was a little bit of thoughts behind how long did they train to get that knife into that fish. Those sort of things yeah, were, yeah, okay. were slightly missing, not just talking about, uh, it's nice here, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you <laughs> and the other brilliant thing, of course, is it's made me realise that my job's safe for a while. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking <Wow>. the mick. <laughs> um, but that's what these challenges are all about, guys. It's taking you out of your comfort zones and putting you in situations that you don't really like to be in. Anyway, the scores on the doors. In third place, with nine points, from the land of France, we have Rosé. In second place, with a score of 10 points, we have Rusky. And I actually can't believe it. For the first time ever, the boy has finally won one. With 11 points, we have Amenya! Thank you. 
So, I mean, as you know, once you win a challenge, you get to decide the lineups for tomorrow's head-to-head -to -head mm. games. However, I must remind you guys that two people will be going home tomorrow. My first game is going to be Ruski, please. My Russian compadre. Russian compadre. Who is going to be the second lineup for tomorrow's head to head game? My second game, I want to see a rematch of the commoner versus Rose. It was a draw, so I thought. Makes sense. Yeah, I want to see what I've gone. And then last but not least, they both got their three points already. So I want a game where if I win, I'm definitely through no matter what. So Bastian Crunch is my last game. I like that. I like that. For me, it's very interesting to face Santiago or Fat Crunch. I wonder what his game plan is going to be, and I'm very excited to see it as well. Boys, tomorrow's game day. Another head-to-head -head match in these situations. That friends, all that happy Larry stuff, it stops now. You two boys have a massive game tomorrow. Whoever loses goes home. Same again for Ruski and Amenya. Whoever loses this game tomorrow goes home. With the challenge over, the guys have a rare chance to relax and recharge. Come on! Well, you're, oh, that's a mad one. That's like 20 already, right? My background is probably a bit of a world traveller, to be honest, from a young age. When I was seven, I moved to the Philippines. When I was like 10, I moved to Malaysia, and then I went to boarding school when I was 14. Lived in London the last four years, going to university and then postgraduate. And uh, yeah, started streaming about five months ago. I've always been an entertainer, and I've always felt like I was a bit of a leader amongst people. And I thought to myself when I was starting streaming that I could fail at something I don't want to do. And so I thought I may as well fail at what I do want to do. You know, so the first step is the hardest. You've got to take that first step and then just keep on going. That's Miles, okay? He's dead, it's over. If this is the first six months of my streaming career, then let's see where I am in two and a half. You know, in five years, I could be anywhere. It's morning, and that can only mean one thing. Match day. Welcome back to the Dome. It's the sixth round, and we have just six contestants left. As the tournament narrows, we are taking a rigorous and scientific approach to team selection. I'm literally going to do like the old school dealer thing, and then you lot have to pick one out of the pack. Man City. Oh! Okay. Rusky? Oh. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. He's a happy man. Commoner. Oh, no. It's Dortmund. Oh! Never the words. PSG! Oh! I've let it go to the These head-to-heads are more crucial than ever. Four of our contestants' chances hang in the balance. Only Crunch and Basti are safe. For the rest, defeat would mean immediate elimination. Best of luck to all of you. Let the games begin. <laughs> our first match of the day was Crunch versus Basti. Both Crunch and Basti were level on three points and safe. This one was all about top position bragging rights. Not really changed my tactics playing against anyone. Like before the game, I'm not like, okay, I'm playing against Santiago. I'm going to do this entirely different because I know what I want to do. Let the games begin. Basti just wasn't lying down. And no worries for the goalkeeper. Both players were keen to show their metal. He's got to score. Oh, the class. Crunch took a first half lead in this one. Great goal. Second half and the Venezuelan push for his second. Surely. You know, I don't think the goalkeeper will be the slightest bit bothered by that effort. Ah! Can he put it in? Oh! But he just couldn't find the finishing touch. Real chance. A goal! Basti pulled level with only minutes left. Sheer excitement. Level again here. But Crunch scored another in the 91st minute to make it 2-1. That was a tricky learn from his opponent. This is why we adore this game. Full time and Basti is not happy with that one. Oh. I waited for the time you could get your... You guys both knew you were safe. Yeah. It seems like you was trying really hard though, Crunch. 
Yeah, I yeah. mean, because all I wanted to do was, now he can't say, I won this unbeaten. Okay, he loves okay. my match. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he loves the match, I don't care. How That's about you, you got anything to say? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Both of the guys are safe. The last two games really mean everything. Join the rest of the guys. <laughs> Our second match was Amenya versus Ruski. This is going to be a very hard match. Um, I'll give my best, but um, I might be the one of the next two guys who's going to leave the house. These two were at the bottom going into their match. Only a clear win would guarantee either player's safety. Yeah, usually when I enter the dome, I'm very confident. I know what I'm going in there to do. I know I'm going to win. I've not had to experience a situation where this is a must-win game. Let the games begin! It is Manchester City up against Bayern Munich. Rusky didn't waste any time taking an early lead. A truly magnificent start. Anything could happen. Oh. Finish. Finish. And, a goal. and it was the German again. 2 0. A scoreline that had Amenya heading for the exit. And they've turned this game on its head. Amenya wasn't going down without a fight. He'll put one back here, and he does. He's thrown his team a lifeline. Game one now. Can he get them level? Oh, yes, yes. And wouldn't be denied as he looked to keep his place in the competition. And the keeper more. Oh, he's given it. Oh, hey. Hey. Rusky was then gifted a chance from the spot at the stroke of half time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which he tucked away. And in it goes. Oh my god. As coolly as you like. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Falling behind again and down to 10 men, Amenya's hopes were fading fast. Big chance it is. Oh my God! Rusky hit him with a hammer blow. 4 2 the score, and that would surely be the end of Amenya's run. How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat trick. And he's in. Amenya fired in a great goal. Could he get himself back into it at Rusky's expense? How about this? 4-3. Shoot, 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 shoot you nutter! Could square the game. Not out of the woods yet. No. Is it going to be? Bang! Bang! Yeah! The ball. Just when it seemed hopeless, bye! Ah! 4-4, the final score. Great game. So, I mean, I've got to start with you, man. You look devastated. Rusky played really, really well. I was quite confident, even when he was one and two up, um, I came back into it. But then the penalty just rattled me. I don't really get rattled when, I'm, when something's not going well, but the penalty, I was just like, yeah. like it, you feel it, innit? Rusky, this one whip, it looks ridiculous as you're doing the formation, but it works, bro. Those tight, quick passes that you do are lethal. Did you know that would work again going into this game? Yeah, I've tried to go with the same tactics when I played against Peke. And um, it worked really well at the beginning, but I was kind of panicking. It is very, very hard to defend him. Yeah. And um, I think I should have won that. What I will say is head up, guys, because anything can happen in the next game. Our third match of the day was Rose versus the Commoner. He's a tough guy, Charles. I'm just not sure about Charles' level. I mean, sometimes I think, wow, he's impressive. Oh, that guy is good. And sometimes he made some mistake that, oh, he really did this. Oh, come on, he got this. With, with the games, um, I feel like I want to be as prepared as possible. So last night after the matches were chosen, I was going through every scenario. I need a win. There's only a certain amount of points to go around. After that last result, the Common and Rosé knew that winning would keep them safe. For the loser, however, there would be no guarantees. A draw would see them both go through. Second big game is about to... Oh, there we go, they've started already. Let the games begin. <laughs> and a foul in the opinion of the referee. This one had the crowd on edge. Oh, is it ready for a foul? Especially Amenya, who needed to see a winner if he was going to survive. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping. Are you just thinking, oh, they're playing for that draw? If there's someone that's going to win 2-0 or more, I think it would be Rosie. Can they forge ahead? Oh, no! 
tension built until Rose opened the scoring seconds before half time. Rose! Rose! Now edging a commoner towards the drop. High drama. 15 minutes remaining. Teammate and support. Hit it! Oh, shoot. Oh, no! Menya it? enjoyed that more than anyone. Rose extending his lead to put Amenya further from elimination. Can he find the net? The commoner had to fight back fast, even with the crowd on his back. Lights out. Finish! In the end, no damage done. Run up! Can he do it? Can he get one back? Please, please, it's one minute, bro. It's one minute, it's one minute. The commoner scored late on. And there goes the final whistle. But for the commoner, one goal was not enough. And he knew his dream was over. Wait, what was that, bro? I thought that was a bit disrespectful when Rose went 2 0 up. And you were celebrating. No, but I didn't do that when it was beneficial for me to you, you to go behind. I thought that was a bit disrespectful. Man. Since we've been here, I've been very close with Charles, for sure. Um, and I said to him as well, like, had he scored the first goal, I would be backing him the entire way to slap Rosé to score as many goals as he can. I'm not here to, like, I didn't really care who won. I just wanted somebody to win by one goal. How do you feel about losing that game coming up? I mean, it is what it is. Uh, Rosé is a great player. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't get much going. There was nothing different about, like, my approach, for, like, going in today. You know, it was just that Rose was the better man in this game. Okay, okay, cool. Better man. Yeah, he played better. He played better, straight up. Cool. Rose, you had your favorite team. Did you feel confident going into the game? Yeah, because, uh, because of Ronaldo. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy with the win today. Uh, I felt that Charles is a great player and it was not possible for me to underestimate him. So Thanks. I had to give, him, to give the best of me. Fact. to this game and you know uh, at the end of the day it's all about FIFA so yeah should have I deserve I think I deserve the Mate, win. Mate he played better straight um, up yeah. he played better. Before I read out the leaderboards I just want to say well done to everyone give yourselves a massive round of applause because we started with 10 and we're down to six so you should all be very very proud of yourselves. At the top of the leaderboard with six points we have Crunch well done, Crunch. In second place, we have Will. In third place, Basti. The guy third from bottom literally just scraped it. We have Amenya. The first person to be eliminated with one point and goal scored four is Charles. Can't even clap for that, man. Don't want to see Charles go. Last but not least, with one point and goal scored four, we have Ruski. <laughs> Guys, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. It burns me to see you both go. And I'll let you say your goodbyes to the rest of the guys. Yes, Gaffer. Take care, my guy. I'm good, man, bro. No, come here, bro. Come here, man. All love, bro. I'm just calling because I'm, uh, I'm coming home. Yeah, it was, um, it, was a bad, it was a bad last day. I'm disappointed um, that the experience is over more than, you know, losing. I knew I had every chance to do better. Fair play to Will. He set up really nicely against my, my defensive style and it just didn't work out for me. At, at the beginning, I wasn't sure if I'm gonna make it so far and I'm actually happy and uh, proud of myself. My suitcase is full of Pringles, you did, man. You did really well. Man. If you're ever in London... Dude, if you're ever you. going to be in Berlin again, you know, yeah, you, you got, got my number. Yeah, you yours next time. <laughs> next time, making the squad. I have never done yoga in my life. I was the artist back in the day, you know. Eight, nine... How's he doing, Georgia? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> You look beautiful, bro. Oh, thank you. You guys are the final four. Basti is the best player. Oh, what's so fast. So fast.